NookieNotes.com presents the top 10 reasons to Nookie. You know, get it on. Horizontal Bob. Four-legged frolic. Yeah, have sex. We all love to have sex, but sometimes our busy lives get in the way. We're hoping that this video will give you the reasons you've been needing to make doing the love dance a priority in your life. For example, we'll tell you in reason number 10 that you have some catching up to do if you like competition. Reason number 8 will explain how the big O reduces stress. Reasons 3 and 4 explain how making the beast with two backs makes you more attractive. And in reason 1, we'll get to the heart of the matter and talk about how sex deepens intimacy. Not that we need reasons to have sex, just that some of us need reasons to have more and better sex and to make it a priority in our lives. So let's get started and have some fun with the top 10 reasons to Nookie. Reason number 10. Because the French get it more often than you do. Who says the French get more nookie? Durex does. Or at least Durex did in 2004. In that year, people globally were having sex an average of 103 times per year, with women having sex more often than men in a surprising upset. The United States clocked in at 111 times per year, or once every 3.28 days, about twice per week. I can live with that, but hey, sex is a good thing, and more of a good thing is, well, more of a good thing. So as a U.S. citizen, I'm all for increasing our national average. Reason number nine. Because you're in a rut. The difference between a rut and a grave is the depth of the hole. We all know it. As soon as we can label our relationships as being in a rut, we know we're not happy. Something's not quite right. Something's missing. And if it's not fixed, it may, you know, die. If you want to let your relationship die, more power to you. I've been there. Thing is, if that's what you want, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So you want to make it work. Excellent! Because Nookie is better with a partner you love and care for. So how can sex break us free from that relationship rut? 1. Sex increases the warm fuzzies, the cuddlies, and the love you feel. Reason number one to Nookie. Two, sex makes you smarter. Reason number five to Nookie. And the love you get increases your creative thinking. Sex fights off depression in number three, which can make a rut seem deeper and more insurmountable than it actually is. Number four, planning a good seduction is way more fun than finding law and order on TV at every hour of the day. In five, sex is lubrication for your relationship. It smooths things along. When you're not having sex, you may find that your mate's actions are rubbing you raw in all the tender spots. Chances are good that he or she hasn't changed that much since you met. After all, you still love him or her and you're here watching this video. But you're noticing the negatives more. Sex will help you ignore the less important aggravations and focus on what really matters. Number six. When the sex is great in a relationship, it's 10% of your relationship. When it's not so great, it becomes a much larger issue, 80 to 90% or more of the relationship. According to Joel D. Block, Ph.D., author of The Art of the Quickie, after a few hundred repetitions of your tried-and-true sex routine, it can easily become stale and boring, and left unattended, that boredom in the bedroom will spill over to the entirety of the relationship. There's nothing dull or boring about a hot sex during his lunch break or a smoldering invitation for date night sent to her by email in number seven. Number eight, a healthy relationship and sex life at home helps ease the stress on the job. Anne Christine Anderson Arnten, a psychology doctoral student from the University of Gothenburg, conducted a five-year study on the effects of relationships and work stress. After surveying about 900 men and women, she found that a healthy emotional and sexual relationship can significantly reduce stress at work. Number 9. Sex games can turn a terrible Tuesday into a night of fun and laughter, without even leaving your home. Reason number 8. It reduces stress. Have you ever noticed how sex is the last thing on your mind when you're stressed? Here's the thing, though. Counterintuitively, when you're feeling the least sexy is often when sex can do the most good. In other words, get busy and get some relief. Experiment the first. 
in which you get stressed and turn down sex. Unfortunately, you don't sleep well, tossing and turning. You wake up the next day a bit cranky, and it just goes downhill from there, leaving you tired and stressed in the evening, so you turn down sex. Or, experiment the second, in which you have a rough day, but when proposition for sex, or find the energy to proposition yourself, you pull out all the stops and explode in the whiz-bang of the best damn fireworks ever, which leads you to an amazing night of deep, restful sleep. You wake up the next morning in a relaxed state, feeling a bit playful getting ready for work. At lunch, you send a short note with a pointed invitation for some canoodling tonight, and people just can't annoy you at work today. I know which I would choose. Even better, there's science behind all this. The Science of Sex and Stress Relief Studies have shown that those who recently had intercourse tended to have either lower baseline blood pressures, less of a blood pressure rise during stressful events, or both. These findings suggest that having sex can lead to less of a stress response during challenging situations. Another study looked at women's heart rate and cortisol levels as a measure of stress response and found that women exhibited less of a stress response after positive physical contact with a partner. Emotional support alone didn't have the same effect. Stress increases ACTH and prolactin release. Oxytocin de-stresses through regulating prolactin and ACTH levels. Orgasms produce a rush of oxytocin, more in long-term partnerships, so therefore diminish stress. Sex, even as little as once or twice a week, increases immunoglobulin levels, the stuff in your blood that fights infection and disease, as much as 30% higher than in those who abstain, reason number six for Nookie. Less flu and colds equals less stress. Those having sex three times a week on average appear seven to twelve years younger than their actual ages. How's aging slower for a major stress relief? Reason number seven. Your orgasm is a powerful painkiller. One of the many benefits of orgasm in both women and men is that it signals your body to release oxytocin. You know oxytocin, right? The cuddle hormone? Well, not only does oxytocin reduce your stress, reason number eight tanuki, and make you feel closer to your mate, reason number one tanuki, but it also increases your pain threshold. That means headaches are a reason to have sex, not a reason to avoid it. Arthritis symptoms can be alleviated by orgasm, and orgasm during that time can reduce menstrual cramps. Not bad for a single orgasm, eh? Reason number six, no more flu or pesky colds. Regular sex has a therapeutic effect on the body's immune system, keeping it strong and healthy. Having sex keeps your organs healthy. Just as exercising the other muscles of your body contributes to your well-being, sexual activity contributes to the flow of blood to your organs and helps to keep everything in good working condition from top to bottom. Reason number five. Sex makes you smarter. Having more sex can improve certain brain functions, including memory. With any form of exercise, and let's face it, sex is a form of exercise, blood flow increases. The increased circulation of blood transports oxygen and rich blood to the hypothalamus, the center of the brain for memory and learning. Thus, memory and brain function may be increased with sexual activity. That means sex is DHEA without a prescription. More estrogen equals brain performance, and for the men, testosterone strengthens the brain as well. Reason number four, lose weight, get in shape. Common wisdom holds that sex is exercise. True, but to be more accurate, it's exertion. In fact, most of the benefits you'll get from sex are not the calories burned, but the muscle flexing, hormone release, testosterone helps build muscle, and the peace of mind. To look accurately at what sex can do for your shape and weight, we'll need to look at what doing nothing will get you. The average calories expended not having sex is 84 calories per hour. Let's see how we can spice that up with some nookie. 68 calories per hour. Kissing. Really, it seems if it's less than watching TV, you're not doing it right. 238 calories per hour. Making out. Now that's more like it. 206 calories per hour. Romantic dancing. 8 calories per hour undressing. I'm assuming you're not doing a striptease. 
80 plus calories per hour massaging. Hmm. I wonder if this is in addition to the calories that keep you alive. It seems to me that a good massage is far more strenuous than watching TV. 300 calories per hour or more. Having sex. That's what I'm talking about. 200 calories per hour giving oral sex. See? Much more fun than sitting around on the couch. 100 calories per hour using your hands. I think this depends on the amount of effort you put in. Other ways sex helps you get fit and lose weight. 1. If you're having sex, you're not eating. 2. Active sex involves using your muscles. Kegels, anyone? Tighten and tone your abs, thrusting up, thighs and butt, cowgirl, and biceps, think shake weight, while getting some happy hormone, reason number seven to Nookie, and you don't have to buy new sneakers or special equipment, unless you want to. 3. Speaking of that happy hormone, with regular sex you'll stave off depression more easily, making you happier overall, giving you more energy, and reducing emotional eating. 4. Sexual stimulation produces phenethylamine, which is a kind of natural amphetamine that helps regulate your appetite. So next time you're feeling snacky in front of the TV, head to the bedroom instead of the kitchen. Again, it's another one of those reasons where there is evidence, but not concrete proof. Better safe than sorry, I say. Reason number three. Your skin will glow. Sex is a beauty treatment. Dr. Gloria G. Bramer, a Georgia-based licensed clinical sexologist, says sex is good for your skin in a number of amazing ways. According to her, an orgasm a day keeps the doctor away. As much as I like apples, this is a way better option. An orgasm is one of the healthiest things you can give yourself each day. From a sexologist's point of view, it should be included in your routine, along with brushing your teeth and washing your hair. So, how does sex make you more attractive? Let's count the ways. 1. Sex makes you glow. 2. Sex reduces acne. 3. Sex keeps you young. 4. Sex prevents dry skin. 5. Sex prevents wrinkles. 6. Sex cleanses your pores. Get your nookie and get your glow on. All these wonderful beauty benefits from having sex, a benefit all its own, it all adds up. Reason number two, because you can't sleep. How does sex put us to sleep? Well, one of the obvious answers is that because we often have sex at night, near our bedtimes, in bed, and it's a physical exertion, that it's just natural we doze off. We've discussed several times in this top ten list of reasons to Nookie the amazing chemical cocktail that our bodies produce during orgasm. Star players include norepinephrine, serotonin, oxytocin, vasopressin, nitric oxide, endorphins, and the hormone prolactin. From that mix, serotonin calms us and makes us feel happy. Oxytocin is the cuddle hormone, encouraging a feeling of love, comfort, and relaxation. Vasopressin is also pivotal in the pair bonding blend and accompanies melatonin in its release. Melatonin helps regulate our body clocks. Endorphins resemble the opiates in their abilities to produce analgesia and a feeling of well-being. The headliner in this game, though, is prolactin, the release of which is linked to the feeling of sexual satisfaction and mediates the recovery time, the minutes or even hours a man must wait before round two. Studies have also shown that men deficient in prolactin have faster recovery times and don't fall asleep immediately afterwards, obviously. Prolactin levels are also naturally higher during sleep, suggesting a link between the two. It's possible that the hormones released during orgasm leads to drowsiness. Reason number one, because you want to feel closer to your lover, and because you want your lover to feel closer to you. Sex and love. Sex and intimacy. Sex and romance. They're not the same. We all know this. The reason we have different words is because they are not the same. They do run in the same cliques sometimes, though, and that's what we're talking about. I'm going to come at this closeness topic from two angles, scientific and psychological. Well, they're both about what's in our heads, but you'll see. 
Sex and oxytocin. Feel all loverly. Oxytocin is a nanopeptide hormone that's released by both males and females during skin-to-skin -skin contact, sexual arousal, and levels are significantly higher during orgasm and ejaculation. Oxytocin also plays a role in bonding, desire, social recognition, and trust, and is therefore known as the cuddle hormone. Studies have also shown that oxytocin is associated with our ability to mediate emotional experiences in close relationships and maintain healthy psychological boundaries. In other words, it pulls a couple closer together and helps them stay closer. It does the same thing for our mothers with their children. Perhaps it should be called the loving family hormone instead. Foreplay equals love play. Oxytocin levels rise when we're touched anywhere on our body. Oxytocin is also released during orgasm itself, bonding us more closely to each other. In fact, research has shown that women who are currently involved in a committed relationship experience greater oxytocin swells in response to positive emotions than single women, leading researchers to speculate that a close, regular relationship may influence the responsiveness of the hormone. Oxytocin also increases our desire to be touched further, reinforcing the cycle of sex hormone escalation. We have sex. We feel cuddly, so we want to be touched more, more sex and closeness, which in turn creates more love feelings. You see where this goes? Yeah, there. Nothing like a good romp to get you in the mood for more nookie. Sex releases oxytocin. Oxytocin gives you the warm fuzzies. Remember those from when you first met? The warm fuzzies give you more patience. You're less likely to snap at your man when he leaves the toilet seat up, or get annoyed with your lady when she talks to you during the big game. Your lover feels this, and feels a change, and gives you more what you want in response to getting more of what he wants, or she wants, sex, and the feelings that go with it. It's called falling in love all over again. And now that the science part is done, which makes me kind of sad, since I'm a total geek for sex science. Well, <laughs> any science, really. Let's get on with the psychology. Here's the thing. We all have needs. We all want to feel loved and needed by our partner. Women get that from cuddling and talking and all the other small actions men perform in our lives. Men get it, or at least part of it, from sex. Knowing that we want to have sex with them, that we enjoy having sex with them, and that we make having sex with them a priority gives them what they need to feel masculine and manly and, yes, even romantic. Now I'm not going to go into every nuance here. There's plenty of time to explore the psychology of sex. But just think about this quote from The Breakup. If you haven't seen the movie, look it up on YouTube. I don't want you to do the dishes. I want you to want to do the dishes. What if we didn't just have sex, but wanted to have sex? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, are you ready for some nookie? Did you learn anything? I know that I did researching this piece. Reason number five alone about sex making me smarter is a good reason to add more of it to my life. And la petite mour as a headache relief. Yeah, I'm all for that. You know, not only did we give you amazing reasons to have sex, but we also just handed you some fun conversation topics and ways to start the discussions with your significant other. If you're looking for other things that might help you spice up your love life, try nookienotes.com. We offer pre-written erotic stories and invitations that you can customize and send to your lover, sexy e-cards to heat things up, tips, ideas, suggestions, and a growing community. Join us there, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, pin us on Pinterest, watch us on YouTube. Just take that one step to getting more. We're looking forward to meeting you.